Hello Rose, it's Tuesday. My hair still looks pretty good. Don't you think so? So on Sunday night, I didn't really sleep very much and you know, sometimes whenever I get bored or I can't sleep, I decide to curl my hair just because it's really fun and it takes a long time to do. It took me from roughly 2 o'clock to 4.30 a.m. And before that, I made a picture of the quote by C.S. Lewis, there are far better things ahead than any we have to leave behind. And now on to more important business, Doctor Who. So as you all know, Rose has recently joined the Who fandom. Yes! She started on Eccleston, she's absolutely in love with Rose. I actually fangirled a little bit in the public coffee house on my campus when I saw the video. Also, last night after I finished curling my hair, I spelled out Nerdfighters and DFTBA with Smarties, Sweet Tarts, and Cheerios, to be exact. By the way, it's totally fine if you wait to do your punishment because I know you don't have your laptop right now and things are a little crazy and especially because your dad's camera was dead and it would just make things a lot easier. So that's fine. But as soon as you can, I want that video. Ooh, one more piece of exciting news. I finished chapter nine in Ryan Admiral today and it's pretty darn long, which is pretty exciting. If any of you guys want to go read it, it's called Blind Little Fire and it's on Wattpad and I will post the link in the thingy. What is it actually called? Yes, I know why John and Hank use doobly-doo. And in my pants. I almost forgot! I had a really good song idea that Hank could do on a song Wednesday. Because I suggested it to him in his Tumblr Ask box. And I told him I'd do it if he didn't do it. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you sure you're ready for this? Candyland? In my pants. Also, please don't forget to send me those songs by Hank Green that you have. Also, I changed my URL. It is now Hulock Starfighter, spelled just like it sounds. According to Sven Jorgensen, apparently my video from Friday was the best quality he's ever seen from a toaster. Six out of ten would watch again. The toaster, not you. Apparently I'm a toaster, or my camera is. I don't know. I'm gonna call cameras toasters from now on. This is my toaster. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. I don't know if you saw it or not, but I'm not sure why that guy is even on YouTube. He hasn't done anything, like he just joined the same day that he made a comment, which means he might have been spam, I don't know, but whatever happened, I have no idea. I don't know. Quentin just poked me on Facebook. Quentin from high school. The one that stopped talking to me. Today when I was working on my novel I was editing parts and there's a scene where Evo is tossing an apple up in the air and catching it and biting it and stuff like that and he tosses it away and Cece says I'm appalled that he can do it so easily but I don't say anything and when I read it while I was editing I read it as I'm appled that he can do that so easily but I don't say anything. I'm appled. He was tossing around an apple. Oh my gosh I was laughing so hard in the middle of the coffee shop. I look like such a weirdo. Although my fangirling to your video in the coffee shop looked pretty weird too. I love you. See you tomorrow.